we're going to do some practice with predicting products and different types of products. I'm going to give you the spoiler on this right out of the gate. Here's the deal. If you have a solid as one of your products, you're going to say that this is a precipitate reaction when you do the double replacement. If you have a gas as one of the products, you will say it is a gas forming reaction. And if it produces a liquid, you're going to call it an acid base reaction. Um, so let's do this together. When you have your double replacement reactions, you're going to switch the metals. And when I say metal, let's be even more particular and say switch the cations. Because for example, here with hydrochloric acid, hydrogen's not a metal, but it is a cation. You're going to switch the cations. <clears throat> so look at this with me. We are going to switch the lead and the potassium. Always go to charges to make sure when you write the new chemical formulas, you have the right, the correct chemical formula, the right subscripts. So I'm going to do the lead first. That is a PB2 plus. I can see because I crossed that two back up. Um, and that is going to combine with the chromate. Now, if I cross that up, that would be CRO4. And you might have these memorized. So fabulous. So cross these down. Um, a two and a two that balances out. So it's lead to chromate, CR, excuse me, PBCRO4. Great. Plus, okay, now I'm going to take the potassium and combine it with the nitrate. So we've got a K plus, and that's going to combine with the nitrate, which is a minus one. Cross down those charges, and you get KNO3. Now what we have to do is identify the phases. Okay, potassium is always soluble, nitrate is always soluble. That is going to be aqueous. But if you look at a solubility table, the chromate, that is insoluble, which means that is a solid. Okay, now I'm missing one thing, and I'm sure some of you looked at this and went, wait, Mrs. Lobb, and you're right. We have to balance this. So let's go back and balance the atoms. I've got one lead, one lead, one chromate, one chromate, two potassium, check it out, one potassium. So we can put a two right here. Now I have two nitrate, two nitrate, we are balanced. Okay, so gas forming, let's predict products. I'm going to take the cations and switch those, and let's go to charges again. So we're going to have sodium is a plus one, look at the periodic table, or um, cross up that that was a one subscript, in essence, on that carbonate ion. Um, my hydrogen, oh, excuse me, we're gonna go to the chlorine, Cl minus one, look at your periodic table, um, or cross that charge up and you get NaCl. Plus, now we're going to have the hydrogen with the carbonate. Now, hydrogen and carbonate, this is a molecule. It's gonna be a covalent bond but we can use, just with hydrogen, we can use the trick from our ionic compounds where you cross the numbers down from the charges. So the one comes down here and the two goes down there. You get H2CO3. Whoa. That is one of our four special situations that forms a gas. It forms a gas. You need to be able to recognize this. You have to have those four gases memorized and you can watch that video. Um, so how do you break this apart? I'm going to rewrite this whole thing. Remember this breaks into water and CO2. Here's your liquid and the CO2, oh, that's the gas forming. So this would be classified as a gas forming. So I'm going to rewrite the whole thing. We have sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid yields Sodium chloride, uh, sodium is always soluble, so we make that aqueous, plus the water, plus the CO2. I am missing one thing though, I haven't balanced this, so let's go back and balance. Two sodiums, oh, two sodiums right there. One carbonate, well, well let's actually count atoms. I have one carbon, one carbon. Uh, let's do the hydrogen next. I have one hydrogen, two right there, so let's put a two there. Two hydrogen, two hydrogen two chlorine, two chlorine, and now let's check the oxygens. They're kind of all over the place. I have three oxygens right here. 
one plus two, three oxygens. Three and three oxygens were balanced. Okay, last one, acid-base reactions. Again, we are going to switch the cations. I will go to our charges. So we've got sodium as a plus, is going to combine with the chlorine, which is the minus one, gives us NaCl. Sodium is always soluble, so you put aqueous on that. Plus, check this out, here's the key. Hydrogen plus the hydroxide, cross down charges, HOH. What is HOH? That is H2O, water. Whenever you have water, you are going to write liquid. You're going to write liquid. So here's where you'll see phases. Solid will be the precipitate. A gas will be called gas forming. And if it produces that water, that liquid, it is most likely going to be an acid and base. 